How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a photo like this and turn it into this. In the spirit of Halloween, we're going to be learning how to edit moody photos. So everything that is in the basic panel is really just color correction. And then the rest of everything here is where you can get creative. So we're going to start off by uh, really correcting the picture. I see that there's a lot of uh, highlights coming in from the right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my highlights and I'm going to bring up the shadows in the foreground. Just increase my contrast here ever so slightly because we're going to really bring up the contrast in the tone curve. All right. So unlike my portrait tutorial, um, since this is a landscape with a person as a subject, uh, we're going to increase the clarity. Um, but at the same time, this is very important. We're gonna lower the vibrance and saturation to kind of make it more wallowed, more forlorn, kind of uh, more distant and less uh, happy because it's gonna be it's gonna be moody. It's, it's gonna uh, be an edit that's gonna make you feel a certain way. So just looking at the basic, uh, you can tell that we've really uh, brought down those greens that we had in here and we're really uh, stepping away from colors that, uh, that you'd associate with just happiness because <laughs> we're getting real dark real quick. All right, so moving on into the creative phase of this. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna plot our three points on the tone curve and we're gonna take the blacks and move them to gray so there will actually be no absolute blacks in this photo. This is a personal touch I like to add. It's kind of like the vintage wash that you'll see on like all the popular Instagrammers. Um, so yeah, this is pretty essential if you want to get that vintage vintage look. What we're going to do here is we're going to crush the black. So you're going to drag that black slider down a little bit. And then what that's going to do is that's going to really, really tone out and really um, uh, boost your dynamic range of the photo and kind of give everything more depth. My midtones in this photo are not really anything to be messed with. I think that they're fine where they are, but I'm just going to kind of move them around because the main, the main point of this is to increase your dynamic range and uh, save detail in the photo. So you want to save all this detail that you have in the foreground, middle ground, and background. All right, and then what we're going to do is bring the highlights uh, down ever so slightly to kind of kind of just make this a lot more moody. So this is before and after the tone curve. As you can tell, um, even the color temperature changed just by adding the tone curve. So really, 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 really essential. Get to know your tone curve. All right, so now we're gonna hop into the HSL panel. This is not super important for the photo that I've chosen, but if you have a lot of outlandish kind of outstanding colors, um, this would be the place to tone them down, um, especially um, if you have a hue in the photo that you'd like to change that uh, really doesn't fit the mood, then you could uh, change the hue. You can lower the saturation of that color. And, you know, I, I don't really suggest going too much into luminance because you can really mess up your photo really quick. I'm gonna tweak this a bit. This is uh, subjective to just this photo. I might, you know, I'm just gonna change the, uh, the color of the sunset just ever so slightly just to kind of blend in more or give a, a nice contrast more with the uh, with the purple mountains over here. All right, so looking pretty good so far. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. It looks um, looks a lot better than it did originally. So the next thing that we're going to hop into is split toning. And so exactly like how I edit the vintage photos, what we're going to do here is make the highlights a blue and the shadows an orange. And we're gonna bring the uh, the highlights down a little bit. We don't really wanna focus too much on that blue and um, wanna bring the uh, the shadows, so that's gonna be your foreground and the subject in this case. And we're gonna bring that up a little bit, kinda give it a uh, orangey, orangey hue. And your highlights are gonna be the sky and the sun. Um, sharpening is fine, noise reduction. Um, yeah, that's good, we're fine with that with the color. Um, you can and enable, ugh, you can enable uh, profile corrections, but um, in this case, I'm not going to because it leaves kind of a nice vignette that really adds to the moodiness and it crops in the photo a little bit and I don't really like that. All right, so in this case, I'm gonna add a little bit of grain to kind of give texture to the photo. 
Um, this is another thing that you could do to, uh, to boost the dynamic range a bit. And I'm gonna go into ca camera calibration. Um, so for this particular photo, um, I'm just gonna try out just the camera calibration and, and really uh, change the, uh, the overall hue of it. Um, I like to go 25, 25, 25, and then just kind of play with the sliders there a bit. Um, and just really kind of like pick around something to get to a color space that, that I think is consistent with the photo. So the top is getting this like nasty vignette. I like it on the bottom, but on the top, um, so we're gonna change that uh, without, uh, without uh, adjusting the profile correction. Uh, we're gonna do so by grabbing a gradient filter and you can hit O. If you hit O on your keyboard, you can see where the gradient filter is affecting your photo. And in this case, we want it above our subject and above the shadows. We wanna have it directly hitting that vignette. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make it consistent with the uh, the for with the uh, middle of the photo, so this kind of so what I'm actually going to do here is uh, boost the highlights rather than the exposure. Um, so as you can see, take it down, it looks bad. Yeah. So and then what I'm going to do too is I'm going to change the color temperature, and I'm going to make it orange to kind of really blend in with the with the bottom here and make it um, cohesive rather than outstanding. What I'm gonna do here now is it's a little blue on this side, so I'm gonna duplicate that and then just put it ever so slightly and then I'm just eyeing it here to kind of fill in there. And yeah, that looks great actually. So we filled in the whole top of the photo and gave it, so here's the before and here's after. So as you can see, it's got more of a flow to it uh, rather than uh, looking accidental. So this is the before and this is after. There's a lot that we changed, but we kept all of the detail. We, we didn't lose any of the mountains. We um, gained a little bit more detail in, uh, in the foreground. Yeah, the only thing that really changed here was the color temperature and the space and the, uh, and the shadows. So what we're doing here is we're saving all of our shadows, midtones, highlights, and we're creating an even foreground, middle ground, and background without having to blow out the sky or lose any detail here. So, and that is how I edit my moody photos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We actually still have an ongoing contest right now. Um, it's going on until next week. So in this contest, you uh, can win these presets. Uh, please watch the video and find out how. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment on what I should do next, and don't forget to subscribe.